Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to use our first example to show you how to use that technique where we have a situation where we end up with the y over x that we want to substitute for u. Well, in short, let's say we have an equation like this. Well, at first it doesn't appear like we want to make a substitution of y over x, but uh, let me show you what we can do here. Let's take this equation and divide both sides by x squared. So we're going to divide the left side by x squared and the right side by x squared. When we do that, we get the following. We have x divided by x squared, so this becomes 2y, y prime divided by x, minus y squared divided by x squared, plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, so now when you take a look, you see a y over x here, we see a y squared over x squared. Now we have a situation where we have some function of y over x. So now we can say, let u equals y over x. And when we do that, we substitute that in here. So we get 2 times y over x is the same as u, y prime minus u squared plus 1 equals 0. So now we have an equation that seems to be easy to separate. However, we still have a u variable and a y prime. So now we have to make that conversion as well. So here we're going to write y is equal to u times x or dy dx, which of course is equal to y prime, is equal to the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is y prime, which means u plus x times dy Oop, not dy dx, but now it becomes du dx. So u right there. All right, we substitute that in for y prime right here. So we get 2u times, instead of y prime, we're going to write u plus x du dx minus u squared plus 1 equals 0. So now we have a situation where we can actually separate the variables u and x, integrate, and then substitute back, of course, from u back to y over x. So how do we do that here? How do we separate the variables? Well, first what we want to do is get rid of these parentheses. So we can write this as 2u squared plus 2ux du dx minus u squared plus 1 equals 0. So now we realize we have a 2u squared and minus u squared, so this becomes 2ux du dx is equal to 2u squared minus u squared is u squared plus 1 equals 0. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and move the u squared plus 1 to the other side, so this becomes 2u times x. Oh, whoa, 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 yes, 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 this is wrong. This should be a plus. All right, so we have 2ux times du dx is equal to minus 1 times u squared plus 1. So we move the other side, make it minus. And then we can go ahead and move the dx over here, move the x down here, move the whole thing down here. So the next we have 2u times du divided by u squared plus 1 is equal to minus, that would be dx, divided by x. So what we've done now successfully is separated the u and the dx and the x variables and now we're able to integrate both sides of the equation. So we can integrate the left side, we can integrate the right side. Now notice that the differential of the denominator would be 2u du. We have a 2u du so we can integrate that. So this becomes the following. So the left side will become the natural log of the denominator which is u squared plus 1 equals the left side will become the, uh, the integral that would be the natural log of x, the natural log of x, plus a constant of integration. We still have the minus here as well. Let's call that c1 because this may change still. All right, the next thing we're going to do is uh, use the antilog, raise both sides of the equation to the exponent, make it the exponent of e, so we write e to the natural log of u squared plus 1, is equal to e to the minus natural log of x plus c1. And of course, this can be written as e to the minus natural log of x times e to the c1, because we separate the exponent like that. And this can then be written as c times e to the minus natural log of x. All right. So this can now be written as 
uh, u squared plus 1 is equal to, and over here we can then say e to this simply becomes uh, c times 1 over x, because we can take the negative and place it up here, so that's a natural log of e x to the minus 1, take the antilog of that, you get x to the minus 1, which is 1 over x. So we end up with this. All right, finally, we can now substitute back what u squared is equal to. Because since u is equal to y over x, u squared then becomes y squared over x squared. So here we get y squared over x squared plus 1 equals c times 1 over x. Now what we're going to do on the left side is we're going to find the common denominator. So this becomes y squared plus x squared over x squared is equal to c times 1 over x. And then multiply both sides of the equation by x squared. We end up with y squared plus x squared is equal to c times x. And that would probably be a good form to leave the final answer. So there is the solution to the original differential equation, and we're able to find that simply by making the substitution that u equals y over x. Now, remember, it doesn't always appear that way, but if you see a y square, an x square, an x times y here, you know you can simplify things by dividing both sides by maybe by x or x squared. In this case, x squared was the right candidate. And then you can see that all of a sudden, this some, something that you simply don't seem to be able to find a solution for also turns into something that you can solve by making that very straightforward substitution. So that's how we solve first order differential equations that at first are not separable. By making the small substitution, it becomes separable and then you can find the solution. That's how it's done.